The nuclear disaster protocols being followed in Japan right now are eerily similar to the procedures here in Northwest Ohio for the Davis Bessie power plant. Fox Toledo's Kevin Milliken is live with a comparison of what emergency planners do here. Kevin. First Energy distributes this calendar every year to Ottawa County residents and everyone in a 10 mile evacuation zone around its nuclear plant. Inside you'll find instructions for what to do in a case of a nuclear emergency. Even this green card to put in a window to let first responders know you've already been told to get out. Fears of a nuclear meltdown are mounting in Japan where contamination and radiation are becoming a real life horror story. Behind this door in the basement of the Ottawa County Courthouse, emergency planners are watching the events unfold and measuring their nuclear disaster plans against what's happening. I'm sure there will be lessons learned coming, coming out of this uh, incident and we'll take uh, a hard look at what, what's happened there. For example, there's a 10-mile evacuation zone around the davis Bessie nuclear power station stretching from eastern Lucas County to Catawba Island. But Japanese residents in a zone twice that size are being told to stay indoors and close themselves off from the outside world, a term known as sheltering in place. That's because it's been four days since the earthquake and tsunami, and it's too late to get people out safely. At davis Bessie, the decision to evacuate would be much more immediate after a cloud of contamination is released. We have a whole group that works across the hall here on assessing, you know, the weather, the release, what's in it, where's it going, how fast it's getting there. Now, weather plays a big factor in a radiation release. Emergency planners always hope to get a little lucky with a strong wind blowing out to Lake Erie, taking any contaminated plume away from people along the shore and inland. Reporting live, Kevin Milliken, Fox Toledo News.